Pesach time, we're talking about the exodus from Egypt, coming out of Egypt, the journey, 40 years in the wilderness. And our whole history is, is, is one of a long journey. And yet on Seder night, parents are told, Vigadita Lavincha, the man to saper Sipur. We're told to tell our children a story. It's not about a journey, it's about a story. Rabbi Sachs famously would always say, we don't have a word in Judaism for history, because history is his story. This is our story. So on Seder night, which is the night of education, of passing on Midor Ladar from generation to generation, 133 generations later, it's not a lot. Think of your grandparents, your great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents. We're a continuation of that story. We're sharing the magnificence of that story with our children, not in a prescriptive way, but in a way that implies choice. You choose. You are you. I am I. We have different personalities. We're living in a different time. You choose how you want to engage with being Jewish. I'll tell you my way. I may encourage you. There are many different ways. There are many different ways to engage with being Jewish today. And one of the greatest blessings that we say on Seder night is we refer to the future, we thank for the past. We even recognize the challenges of the present. But we also look forward to seeing that song of the future. We will sing all of world history will become a symphony of our story and the story and the impact that we have made on mankind. Journeys are difficult. Everybody's got their pekach, everybody's schlepping something. Stories are liberating. Everybody can play their role, they can choose the role to play. There's a multiplicity of roles. Ultimately, if that is the invitation that we are sharing with our children, we will also share the song and the dance all together in the future.